Ever wonder why when you spin a tennis racket or any rectangular shape, it is able to contain its rotation? But when you spin it a different way, it seems unstable while in the air? This is because of the three axes a tennis racket has. When spun around two of its axes, it is able to maintain its rotation. The first axis has the least moment of inertia and requires the least amount of torque to accelerate the racket in a given direction. The third axis has the greatest moment of inertia and requires the greatest amount of torque to spin the racket. This can be demonstrated when spinning the racket in these two ways. When spun around its intermediate axis, however, the racket spins while being flipped. No matter who spins the racket or which racket is being used at the time, the racket will almost always act unstable while in the air. The math of the intermediate axis theorem is similar to that of a rigid pendulum. When the pendulum swings normally, it relates to how the first and third axes of a racket act. When the pendulum is flipped upside down, it has a hard time staying that way and any small force can make it unbalanced and fall. When flipping a racket, any slight deviation from a perfect rotation can cause the racket to be unbalanced as well.